Hey guys, I'm Jan Education, and today we are carrying on with another little Stankia campaign. And uh, I'm, I'm sick of just like chasing Malekith and everyone else uh, uh, across the world indefinitely, going through stupid deserts and getting terrible uh, replenishment and all the rest of it. No, we're gonna we're gonna wait until we get that bat. Okay, I'm gonna ignore Malekith, even though he might attack me. If he does, it'll he'll, he'll regret it. All right, ooh, ooh, that Malekith. Grr. Anyway, so um. We can do the missions, is basically what I'm getting at. We still haven't done any of the bloody quest battles. Because something keeps coming up. You know? Uh, there's another one down here. Yeah, there we go. See? One of them will unlock this thingamajig. Alright, the coven's curse mark. So we can curse people with our coven's mark. That's what I'm going to assume that means. And, uh... Yeah, then the other one. To get a happier cauldron or something. Oh no, it's a hat. It's a hat. Yeah, there we go. All old women love big hats. True story. Okay. Um, we have no money or anything to do. Hang on. Yeah, we have nothing to do. Good lad. Alright, moving on. Alright, sacrifice to Mathlan being performed. Very cheeky. Not a fan of that Mathlan. I've decided. Uh, it takes complex machinery, the keenest eye, and considerable skill to fashion lenses. Good enough to use in high-grade telescopes and spy glasses. Cool. What, is your what on earth are you two doing here? Did you just... Did you just take down Malekith? I mean, they seem completely fine. So is Malekith just like... I mean, you can't be ambushing, right? Well, I guess he could be. I guess he's not at war with these guys, right? So yeah, I think he's just set up an ambush again. Just an old woman. What? What? Huh? What happened? Why aren't we recruiting anymore? Warding Kislev from chaos. <laughs> what on earth? Did I destroy the building that I was recruiting from? Is that what happened? Oh my god, I bloody did as well. That was the only building we had that we could get bats from. <laughs> That's really funny. Alright, never mind. Let's go do that. Uh, oh, hang on. Just gotta, gotta get some fresh air. Can't, can't teleport in the stuffy air inside our settlement. Uh, so let's go do this then. This is going to be uh, for Coven's Curse Mark, uh, which it doesn't really tell us anything about. I wish it would just tell us about the mission, you know? Get get out of here. Uh, Coven's Curse Mark. Okay, are you not going to have... I guess it's not going to have the full description of the quest. Oh, there we go. You can click on enemy details. Oh, is that new? Did they just add that? I never noticed that in the past. Because that was always something I, I found annoying, that you couldn't see the rest of the details. But that makes way more sense, that they've actually got that all in one place. Huh. Well, that's cool. So, uh, something burrows deep beneath the earth, reeking of sinister corruption, an underway perhaps, infested with filthy vermin. Whatever the cause, its rot has withered the land, with every ounce of its power emanating from a single point of infection. Such power could be used in the creation of a new hex, one that could entrap such vile trespassers before they could e uh, before they ever have a chance to plant their virulent seeds of corruption. Seek out the sources of this cancerous blight. The essence of whatever lies at the heart of this scourge must be harvested. All right, should be fun. Um, I'm not going to throw out all these curses, I don't think. Oh, I suppose I could. I could make someone turn into a... a... Yeah, I could make someone turn into a bear. But I can't recruit new beasties. So I don't really want to do those. And I don't really want to get rid of my ambushes or anything. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Let's, um... Give this to someone else. Lowering ammunition by half. And doing damage over time. To these guys. Might be a fun way to deal with them early. Though with us being basically invisible, it probably isn't necessary. Give Typhlosis to their lord. Uh, which one's Agony Secession? Oh, it just does damage that spreads to other people. That's very fun. I really enjoy that one. But uh, I don't know who I'd give that to. I suppose we'll give it to them. We'll give the plague monks the plague. And we could lower 
Okay, that knows accuracy as well. So I could always give that to... Oh, that would be another fun one to give to the other Plague Claw Catapults to see then get injured too. Alright, that'll do. We spent plenty. Let's go. Disease and pestilence sully the land. Peasants have begun to fall sick in nearby villages, and chatter of ill-looking vermin can be heard in every town. What lies below? What foul presence dares trespass on these lands? There is only one way to find out. Ostankia has sought out the source of this plague, finding a nest of disease skaven, barking in the, uh, basking in their own filth. They must be shown that their incursion is unwelcome. Yet something tells Ostankia that the something is uh, they're, they're they're at a dance party, and we're going to gate crash it. That's what it said, right? I can assume that's what it said. Hate, hate Skaven dance parties. What's that cool is this? Cool looking place. With, uh, you know, sort of like Nurgle. Yeah, this is awesome, actually. This is a really cool map. You know, I, I've decided I actually adore this. I love seeing the combination of Nurgle and, uh, and the Underway. That's a really cool combo that actually fits quite well with, uh, with Clan Pestilence, you know? That's really cool. Because Clan Pestilence are basically just like... Pretty much just Skaven, like, Nurgle, you know? Basically Nurgle Skaven. So I really love this, uh... Yeah, I love this aesthetic. This is really cool. Alright. I love it. Let's get to it. Right. Uh, we've got bats and spiders. Uh, we've got a big boy. Oh, I love a big boy. We got our Hag Armada, our Hag Division, our Hag Lance, and yeah, our ambushers, we can push forward to rather good effect, I think. Okay. Cool. Alright, a bunch of them got the plague, which is very funny to me. Defeat the Skaven? Well, of course we can defeat the Skaven. Silly. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Plague Monk's behind us. Doesn't matter. We're still just going to poke some one direction here. And that was a bit rubbish. The true enemy has been revealed. Oh, that's so cool. And also, very abrupt, the fact that they turned up already. But I kind of love the fact that a, a, you know, exalted, great, unclean one would show up here as kind of a result of uh, of Clan Pestilence doing their job. I mean, like I said, they're basically, you know, basically the same. The Skaven will work with whoever. And so they do have a Demon Lord promising them power and stuff, and then obviously they're happy to just muck up the place. You know, no harm done there. Alright, go fight the Demon Lord. Go get him, boys. Go get him. And we can debuff the crap out of everybody. And I guess I can just flock of doom. Uh, you just got interrupted somehow. Uh, let's buff you. Let's see. What other debuffs do I want to throw out there? The withering. And let's use enfeebling foe as well. Really just ruin his day, you know. Probably turn around and shoot them at some point, but they're making it real easy for us. Ooh, Plague Bear is a Nurgle over here too. There's more unclean ones coming in. Interesting. Very cool. Alright. Let's whittle him down some more. And let's start charging some of these jerks. And let's start shooting some of them too. Right, do we need Really? Automatically shattering? Is that because we killed the demon? Yeah, okay, we killed the greater demon, so everything just quit. Okay, the fact that we could just throw a bunch of debuffs on that demon and just slaughter him with ease was pretty great. That's very... That feels very on brand for Mother Ostankia to be able to just identify the thing that needs removing and then turn him into a little baby that can't defend himself. Can't Such a baby, can't even defend himself from a giant, um, you know, 40 foot tall, hulking skull beast. Silly. 
I love that. That was amazing. I really love that. Just a little bite size, you know, very thematic. Just, yeah, really good. Really nice to see. Um, I love, I love how with this DLC, you know, with, with Mother of Stankia, with this campaign specifically, they've got the real sort of like weird kind of, it, it's more esoteric stuff in Warhammer. It's just the random like monsters and things from like Mordheim and, you know, Forge World and stuff that they've got because it's, it's a part of the Warhammer world that doesn't really have the inclination to field an army, you know, it's someone just bringing the wrath of of uh, the wilds on them. It's, it's really interesting. So to then also have it that she's facing up against fairly esoteric threats as well, where it's these little alliances between Skaven and Nurgle sort of more directly, um, it's really fun. This is really cool. And yeah, this is exactly what Warhammer 3 should be doing. Just like filling in those like really interesting gaps that really sort of maximize world building. It's what the um, rogue armies should be doing. But I don't think they do because they're just stacks of elite units and they're a bit annoying. Um, I think rogue armies need a lot of revising. They could just serve this purpose where it's just like quirky little little combos that just lead to like interesting set pieces but aren't necessarily difficult. They're just like they help develop the world. But yeah, this is really fun to see. Passing upon a witch's land is a dangerous game. When the daughters of the forest wail in unison, they sear onto the flesh of interlopers a sinister mark that turns the very magic of the world against them. The coven's curse mark ensures one thing for its target. Despair. Spooky. Uh, we got a veteran warrior. Really? You want to tell me that now? That's more like it. So we now have the Coven's Curse Mark X, and we've just got a bunch of uh, replenishment as well, as you do when you do a quest battle, which I really like. That's a nice touch as well. Um, just the fact that you don't have to fear doing quest battles so much because you will get your army back on track um, in order to do the, the, you know, carry on doing the sandbox stuff. Uh, we also got a new trinket. Is that from defeating demons? If that's the case, that's we actually got two of them. Hang on. How did we get two? That's from Skaven, right? The Warpstone Fragment. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's Skaven and Nurgle. We never actually got the Skaven one. And yeah, Demon Skull. Oh, that is brilliant. That is really nice. I'm actually really impressed by the variety that this campaign has afforded us. Like, look at how many factions we have interacted with. That is really impressive. Because it's not like we're halfway across the world by now. Like, yeah, that's a lot of variety. That's really fun. Also, I love that the Demon Skull is a... Is a uh, 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 I've completely forgotten the bloody names. Blood Flatter, that's the one. Um, with the proper techniques, demonic resilience can be harnessed or sometimes negated. Like, I've painted a unit of these. Like, I, you know... <laughs> Like, I should remember it. But no, I'm bad at names, guys. Very bad at names. Uh, Warpstone Fragment as well is very nice. Only the most experienced Thaumaturge would risk tinkering with materials so inherently versatile and volatile as Warpstone. Yeah, too right. So we can actually make a bunch of these special ones now. So yeah, Rat's Gift. Uh, that's the thing about rats. They always survive endlessly scurrying toward, uh, towards safety. This puts up melee defense, bonus versus large, and gives perfect vigor. Uh, with each unit in range. That feels like the perfect thing to give to our big boy. Like the perfect thing. And we can improve it some more. So we can make him go faster. Really extra range. We could probably use something other than the bone. Sorry, other than that particular bone. Hang on. Missile strength, ammunition. Okay, just that. Yeah, just those are always going to help out range stuff, which is a bit annoying. Um, and yet the trinket effect is going to give them more armor piercing, which is a bit silly. So what other thing could we give him? Uh, spell resistance is kind of cool. Physical resist. Or charge bonus is quite nice. Extra leadership. 
Uh, Vanguard deployment is quite a good one. I like the look of that. That's very nice to have a big boy Vanguard. I like that a lot. Uh, hushed cast. Uh, lowers missile resistance as a hex and it spreads. That's very cool as well. Could we also lower their speed? Or we've already used... Oh, well, that enables flaming attacks or weakness to fire. That's kind of cool. So we can lower their charge bonus. Lower leadership sounds quite good. And, um... We can lower their spell resistance or physical resistance a bit. Um... Let's just do that, see if we have any ingredients or anything else. We do, apparently. Extra physical resist and ammunition. Sure. That'll do. Oh, well, we can make another one, because we had... <laughs> we have other ones of that colour. Awesome. Oh, I really enjoy... I really enjoy the baking mechanics. You know, making... Lots of devilish cakes. To hand out in a... Um, in, in Satan's bake sale to our opponents. Right, let's go to Kesvanaria. And let's get Pan's Impenetrable Pelt. And for you, more well, Soul Blight could be fun. Although, we can get into this good stuff. So let's go Purple Sun. Love Purple Sun. Alright. So, uh, we've almost got full party again. So. Okay, who told you to run down here? Okay, that's bizarre. I don't know why that's happening. Oh, but we do have this as well now, actually. So we can lower campaign movement range of enemies, lower, uh, put up the Winds of, Mahal Magic, uh, Winds of Magic cost for some spells, which is interesting, because you can have 30 in the tank, right, at a time, um, sort of in the pool. So, what can you? Uh, I've just gone back to Warhammer 2 brain, haven't I? Anyway, that, I, I'm thinking that'll make some spells basically just completely uncastable in certain games. Because they're just going to be too expensive with a 40% increase. Uh, so we went to that one. Let's go get our hat. Cool. So, Crown of Claws. Win the following battle with Mother Rostankia's army. Mother Rostankia's eyes glaze over as she is suddenly overcome by a torrent of whispers from the spirits of the land. In hallucination, she cries... Uh, scries a cave somewhere in the distant mountains, where deep within sits a cave of rare ice crystals, a place thrumming with the ancient magic of the land concentrated in dozens of glimmering stalagmites and stalactites. A single shard of one of these formations could be a powerful centerpiece for Rostankia's crown, augmenting her influence over the spirits who facilitate her frightening spells. Yet, as she drifts out of the vision, uh, out of her vision, she also makes out a cacophony of monstrous roars, shrieks and howls, something feral awakes. Okay, so there's some bears, which I don't like. I assume this will be like a Rakath thing. Oh, in fact, this is his faction, right? Maybe? No. Maybe not. But I assume Rakath will turn up. But I also think the, the Frostworm, uh, the regiment-renowned Frostworm, will show up. I think that'll be quite exciting. But again, it'll be quite an interesting combo, you know? The, the slave drivers, the random beasts that they've shackled. And, you know, real, real sort of going across factions here again, which is really fun. It's the more, like, esoteric stuff. It's, you know, kind of the, the dogs of war approach of just like, oh no, it's just like a melting pot of stuff, which I think is great. It's really, really fun. Big fan. I'm not sure I'm going to give any of these to any of the enemy, actually. I think we can just kill them. Um, though, maybe nerfing the dinos might be fun. Or even the bears might be useful to nerf. Uh, hush cast missile resistance down. Yeah, let's put that on the dinosaur. They'll probably spread it to some other people. Wait, is that is that one of the ones that spread? Oh no, nearby allies put up the uh, the um, intensity. Yeah, he probably won't be nearby anything. Oh, I don't know. Let's just do it without the curses. We have some bonuses though. Um, let's get missile strength, spell resistance, and. Entities explode on death, which is pretty funny. And this one... Yeah, entities explode on death. That's very good. But yeah, I think we're going to give this to... Our big boy. Uh, and he can have a banner. And... Rat's gift. That's pretty cool. 
I like that. So yeah, that's going to give us uh, extra melee defense and bonus versus large and perfect bigger. He's also got the extra speed, vanguard, just a lot of cool stuff. Let's get to it. The spirits of the old land have revealed a great power to Ostaikia, but alas, her prize is under threat. A black ark has been spotted nearby. Dark elves from Nagaroth searching for new beasts to tame. They have already made their way inland and are dangerously close to the crystals she has come to harvest. Or perhaps the cave harbors something else that they desire. A great reservoir of magic lurks below, revealed to me by the spirits of home. The entrance is close. But so too come the three beast masters, just as foretold. The Nagarotti are as children in their weakness to corruption by power. They may cower behind their beast of birth, but they must never enter that cave. To death! Spirit realm with you, creatures! I will send your masters into the dirt! Then at the last, the cave's guardian to slay! Fire up, my cauldron daughters! Cool stuff. So, um... We have spiders, right? Rare spiders. But then, these guys have these spiders. Which. Are they the same? No, I think they are. Okay, I thought maybe we had different kinds of spiders. Because uh, the ones they had looked more like uh, spider rider spiders. But then actually, spider rider spiders might be these ones as well. I'm not sure they actually made a unique model. I just got the impression they put in a different kind of spider so that way. Um, you know, you wouldn't get confused with the two, but I think that might be nonsense. Just a bit of nonsense, though. Everyone loves a bit of nonsense. All right, let's get you stuck in. They do have dark shards, which is annoying, but uh, my plan is to shoot the snot out of them, so I think we'll be okay. All right, let's get you over here. Okay. Get you running in. Oh, he's uh, a bit of a jerk, isn't he? Alright, let's move you up. And yeah, it's fine. Charge you back down now. And Curse Van, we're here. Alright, and you lot can deal with these cold ones. And yeah, I think things are going to go quite badly for them. But. We start shooting those bears or something. Okay. Good stuff. Cold one night's getting absolutely wrecked. Okay, you go for those dark shards. And uh enemy reinforcements. More bears are coming. Hang on a minute. Feral Manticore just ran away. Uh I guess it's because we killed one of their one of the people who had them shackled, huh? That's good going. Okay, let's move you up. You guys are doing great. Chase down those cold one knights, please. You cheeky little sods. Alright, you know what? Oh, that's Transformation Kadan. You know what? Yeah, sure. We'll get our own monsters. Sounds good to me. I'm going to crush them with rocks. Probably some of ourselves as well, that's okay. And... Oh, he's trying to run away. Come here, you. Start
start trying to shoot him down. And, okay, it looks like crushing everything with rocks did the job. Uh, let's heal this pile. And, okay, we got another one. <laughs> we got ourselves another wild one. Let's go with... Oh, no, that's that, is it? Yeah, I think that's that. That's something like regeneration and nonsense. Very cool to see. So, what's the surprise? What were they after? Is the high beast most tamed, this foul beast? Let's put it down. Which beast? He's a master of warm blooded, so what have we got here? Kill the high beast master. Is a frost worm. I thought it'd be the regiment or renowned one. I already did. Well, alright. Let's just line everyone up in a sort of silly way. Okay, let's get our spiders. Get our hags. Get our things. Which is short for things in the woods, obviously. Move you lot up as well. Okay, good. Uh, odd that you just fight them on their own, though. You'd think they'd have something else going on, or that they would join the fight before we wiped everyone else out. Unless they were supposed to, and we just wiped them all out far too quickly. That is... That is a possibility. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Let's have bats do it. Oh, I missed. Okay, keep debuffing. Okay, good. Wisson's wild form on our girl. And yeah, the bats are winning that fight, which is very funny. And uh, I did use transformation to Kidon earlier, but then I guess I uh, forgot about that. Yep, he's down. <laughs> you lot are shooting, right? Alright, good, good. Uh, Ocken's Mind Razor on the bats. And healing on the bats. And shoot that guy. With your bears. You're going to shoot our lad in the back, aren't you? Please don't shoot our lad in the back. Oh, well, everything's dead. Well, that went well. The amount of debuffs, are just they're very fun. I'm really enjoying that strategy. of just something scary comes up, turn him into something very, very not scary. Cool stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Not sure what I want. Let's go with Repunishment. Uh, the frozen heart of winter. Found ourselves a bear over here. Which feels incredibly appropriate. Though totally by accident. Just happened to line up. Which is pretty fun. So, the orthodoxy shall be obeyed in all matters. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, Crown of Claws. Centered within the mother's circlet of claws, an ancient artifact suspended in ever frozen ice, uh, in ever frozen ice, strengthens her kinship with the sentinel spirits of the land. Very cool. Uh, it gives extra missile resistance for folks near her, which I really like. Very useful. Very powerful. So there we go. Another mission done. Uh, so I guess we're just going to sit down here, and we've got pretty good replenishment. Got a bunch of level ups. Uh, can start getting mentor, just level everyone up. Kind of like that. Creatures of the land, exchanging glasses, uh, rally. Uh, thing. Hands pelt. And for Arena Koshka, Demon Darkness, which I actually haven't uh, adopted at all yet. Um, and then magical reserves. Alright, yeah, our tank is pretty high. 151 magic we can have. Getting rather formidable. Do I want to get any of these boys? I feel like the traditional bear stuff we want to give to our boy are. So yeah, I think we'll... I mean, I could queue up a thing in the woods. I'm not sure we need another unit yet. Uh, so these guys obviously cause a lot of corruption and should probably go down. We could attack them now and it wouldn't be a problem. If I do go over there, I'm probably going to get ambushed by Malekith. Uh, and if I declare war on them, Malekith is going to join 
them in fighting me, so it's all a bit messy, so I guess I'll wait. Uh, however, Gotrek doesn't need to wait. And uh, Kaza, Icy Kaza, can now get Occam's Mind Razor. You know what? Actually, a bit more dramatic will go Pit of Shades. I like Pit of Shades. It's dramatic. Okay, you're good. And now we can think about building. So we do have a lot of money laws up. Probably from all the murders we did. So, we are going to get uh, over in... Okay, so we got that. We can't get the other recruitment building we are hoping for. Uh, in this area. But we can not build it in Ancient City of Quintex either. Where exactly did I plan to replace the buildings that I had demolished? What was the plan there? Just to build it in, like... Build it in Arnheim eventually, I suppose, was the plan. But, um... Yeah. kind of want... I want access to this stuff. Ooh, finally got a stankiest hut. That's why we got rid of that, wasn't it? We wanted hut room. We also wanted to build. We also wanted to demolish so we could get the money to build the hut next time. And I guess we'll just go with the boring income building. Oh, and you are going to be a garrison. A few places here are going to be garrisons. But yeah, the extra uh, upgrade of the vaults of Quintex and. Yeah, we're going to get the, um, yeah, Ostjankia's hut. The rumours that a baleful glow emanates from this uh, dilapidated hut's windows and cracks every blood moon have not been confirmed. Very fun. Okay. I'd say we're doing all right. We're only five grand per turn now. Our economy is definitely starting to get on track. Happy to earn far too much money, frankly. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I love the idea of a giant toad monster, an ancient toad monster of incredible magic power, just like, cheese, would you like cheese? You look like you like cheese. Uh, so who wants to attack the Dreadfleet? I'm still going to say no, I, I can't be bothered. I think they're going to wipe down a minute anyway. Okay, Avalon. Uh, oh, interesting. They've taken an interest in the ancient city of Quintex, I'm not surprised. And uh, we have found, we have found Malekith trying to ambush, because of course we have. Uh, flame Guts got destroyed. What is your These guys took out their, their house. Uh, so I can attack these jerks. I might, because yeah, he'll come and fight me as well, won't he? Okay, so this has, uh... okay, where he is has corruption. Oh, that's just mountain crossing. I thought it was, I thought it was corruption. Because there is high corruption around here. Oh, we're going to run into the Chaos Waste and start clearing out all that area. That does feel appropriate for both uh, Gotrek and, and us, you know. I am very shocked. And appalled here. Um... How? How do Warbear Riders not have um, a Siege Attacker? It's crazy. But I could just get an Elemental Bear. I get the Frozen Heart of Winter for this army. Because not having Siege Attacker is just silly, frankly. It's just going to slow us down. Oh, so you know, finger, bear, uh, finger Bone. It's very handy. So we have another area taken. Good. Let's go income. Let's build up a few of these spots. Let's actually go with the hallowed wood over here in Elder Spire. Sorry, Eldar Spire. Uh, the beloved Saint Anushka met her end rescuing an infant from fro a frozen lake. So they chopped all her fingers off and gave them to people. Because that's how they treat the dead. It's very, very weird. There's a lot of that in, like, Christianity. Um, also a lot of uh, fraudsters kicking around, but seeing as how that actually heals, presumably it is an actual relic, uh, rather than just like loads of Jesus fingers. We've got, got like, we've got 11 of them in the gift shop left. So let's have a look. 
Do I want to start attacking these chumps? Kind of. A little bit. If we can do that, I feel like we need another army to come from the south. I don't really want to have to, like, retreat all the way back. Just to sweep back up or, like, I don't know. We're going to have to zigzag a lot. Which is never good. Especially when we're still fighting Dark Elves. Especially when we're still fighting Dark Elves. We need 129 more uh, expenditure. We have so much already. So, hang on. So this one lowers movement, disables march, underway, and teleportation stances. As well. Seems you can only do it on enemies. But sure, I'll just do that for the hell of it. Oh, you can only do one... Uh, hang on, these hexes? No, the cheaper ones are called hexes, right? I can't remember which, what these are called or what the other ones are called. Whatever, we... Yeah, we can only do one of those per turn. So within your lands, one rule holds true. Trespassers deserve no mercy. The Hex of the Coven's curse mark has already found its target, sapping them with energy, till their movement is a struggle. They will not run far, should you decide to hunt them down. Which, uh, I will. But I think we're going to attack these guys first. I think we are going to declare war in them. We may as well bite off more we can, than we can chew, because, you know, it's fun. Uh, that'll put us down to 54% movement, so we better return home, at least. Uh, but in March starts, that's a bit depressing. But, it's a good start. So, Soul Blight. Kind of like Soul Blight. I mean, it's a, it's another hex. It's another, you know, another debuff. Which I like. Still haven't upgraded in Feeling Folk. I really, really should do that. Because overcasting that. Is that duration or is it effect? I can't remember. Duration, okay. So that lasts basically until the thing is dead. Which is pretty cool. Um, so the Ultra of Ultimate Darkness, we've got a bit more cash to spend over here again, which is nice. Not sure what to get here, though. It will build up pretty quickly, but we can get this to the top tier, so I may as well build the big money buildings. They're not that big, it's, it's only 300, but it does increase money across the board anyway. Uh, let's build one of those, and one of these. Yeah, and this area is looking happier, but it's not happy yet by any means. But we're making progress, I feel. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, next turn I might train a new army here. Just a little one, just to, like, grab Stolag Tor and hang out in these crossroads. So, like, Mother Stank here doesn't have to, you know, keep changing the mind where she's going. And I'm kind of happy with how Gotrek's doing over here. We're going to carry on killing um, Dark Elves, and then we're going to head up into, into the Chaos Wastes. Uh, defeat Malekith. Well, that is the plan. Now tell me, if I attack him... Okay, if I attack him, these two aren't going to join him. Uh, oh, it's Silostra. And we also have uh, Robert Bartholomew. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think this will be too much of a problem. I think we can. I think we can handle these guys pretty easily. But uh, let's start by killing them, and then we'll readjust, because this might uh, might do some damage. And we are still down a unit. We could get some uh, some Oath Riders of Tor to join us, but... Me. Eh. Okay, medium casualties. Let's give... Uh, yeah, Typhlosis. To Malekith. There we go. Sucks to be him. And... Let's see, Whiff of Madness puts down... Main defense and adds Rampage, actually. I kind of prefer that, I think. Because if we give that to Malekith... Right. That, oh, I have to take that off first. My bad. If I give that to him... Then uh, he won't be able to cast any spells. Because it'll be Rampaged. So I think that works out rather nicely. And... Do you want to hushed cast? Missile resistance reduction. That's it. Uh, I think the rest is fine. As long as we can get him, we're good. 
Although, lowering range and accuracy and speed should help us uh, get rid of these um, Raven Heralds pretty easily, just by chasing them with bats. So I think that's good news. Uh, Scourge Runner Chariots can be a bit annoying, I think. I mean, a lot of Dark Shards, which is scary, but the amount of flanking power we have, I think we just... Actually, the front line's pretty flimsy. I think we just run at them. <laughs> I think we just run right at them and just kill them to bits. Yeah, that's my plan. But it's going to have to wait. Uh, we're going to cut this one a little bit short because I think uh, this will be a fun battle to start with next episode. But we've got a couple of quest battles done today, which is kind of awesome. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this, comment, and like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye. From the smoke, she will rise to claim her price in blood.